what is going on guys let's take a closer look at these waveforms we got from the vvt solenoid so the top is volts using the breakout leads this is 12 volts 300 hertz pulse width modulated and it's at 13 percent right now duty cycle the next trace down is amps using an amp clamp and it's averaging here around one amp the lower trace is the induced EMF using the US quarter. So the signal, because it's at 300 hertz, the amps don't really get a chance to drop very far down in between the on time. So you get this kind of average current here, which is going to increase as you increase the length of time of this on time here of the duty cycle. So you can imagine if I made this come out to here, this would actually keep rising, and so my average would be higher, right? And this is actually the average power level going to the solenoid. And that power level is what's going to regulate the position of the spool valve in the solenoid because there's a spring here on the end that pushes the spool valve this way. And this current, as it increases, pushes the spool valve up against that spring. So you're able to control the position by controlling this power level. And the position is going to regulate the flow of oil in and out of the cam phasers to regulate the cam timing. So that's the kind of the relationship between this duty cycle, this power level, and the position of the spool valve. So I have more information on that uh, in some playlists on my channel. I'll put some links in the description for you guys to check that out. Thanks for watching, guys.